Interacting with your customers around their birthday is a very powerful way for your brand to build brand loyalty because it reminds your customers that not only does your brand exist, but you're thinking about them during a time where they're celebrating their life. It's also a very good opportunity throughout the year for you to promote your products and services to them. And the icing on the cake there is that you could offer them an exclusive discount code to celebrate that part of the year, which is their birthday. So knowing that as a brand, communicating with our contacts around this time Time of the year is very important. What's really cool is that with Funnel Kit Automations version 2.5, you now have a new trigger available to you called Birthday Reminder that is going to allow you to do just that. Now, we're going to go through what this automation is doing in just a second, but firstly, I want to really focus on this trigger here. So if I click on this trigger here, you'll see that there's a few settings here. So you could trigger an automation to occur on your contact's birthday. And then you could specify a time, so maybe eight o'clock in the morning on your contact's birthday, you could then trigger an action to send an email with a coupon code for your online store. So that's one way that you could go ahead and use this. Now you also have the ability, if we click over here, to trigger this several days before your contact's birthday. But the reason that I wanted to pull this up now is because we obviously need to have a date to trigger this from, and that date is going to be the date of birth of your contact. And so before we go through the rest of this automation and how it's set up, to give you an idea of how you might wanna do this for your own website, I firstly just wanna show you some of the ways that you can go out and capture your contact's date of birth. So here we are in the back end of WordPress, and if we go down to Funnel Kit Automations and then go down to Settings, you'll see that you have a new option here, Birthday Reminder, and if I click on that, you'll see that under the heading date of birth filled settings, we have a few options. So let's go through top to bottom and set up each of these to give you an idea of how you'd go and do that in your own website. So the first way you can add a date of birth filled is using the Funnel Kit Checkout, and it gives you a description here. Funnel Kit Checkout provides a date of birth filled in its filled editor. Go to Checkout Filled and drag the date of birth filled. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna to go to Funnel Kit and we're gonna do this for the store checkout. So I'm gonna open this up and then we have our checkout step here. So we're gonna click into it. So this is the design of the current store checkout page. So let's go ahead and open that on the front end and then we'll add in our date of birth field and then I'll reload the page and we can see where that gets added. So let's go to the front end of our website. So let's go ahead and add the album to cart and then we'll proceed to the checkout page. And so this is what the page currently looks like. So contact information is up here and we just have the email address, shipping details. So let's go ahead and add the date of birth field into this checkout form. So here on our checkout step, we'll go to fields. And then if I go down a little bit under advanced, you'll see date of birth. So let's drag that into the contact information section just after the email field. And we'll go up and we'll save our changes. And then on the front end, let's go ahead and reload our checkout page. And we can now see that field has been added there. And while we're here, I'll show you how this captures data. So if we click into this, your contact would be able to enter their date of birth if they wanted to. So the first of the first 1990, or they can choose from the calendar over there, depending on their preference. So that's the funnel kit checkout. Now coming down, let's look at a funnel kit opt-in. And the description here says Funnel Kit opt in provides a date of birth field in its field editor. So go to the opt in and then fields and drag it in. So this is going to be similar to what we just did with the checkout. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go here under Funnel Kit and Funnels. And I've already gone ahead and created a funnel. So if we click into that, you'll see there's two steps we have an opt in step and then we have the opt in confirmation. So let's click into the opt in step and let's preview that on the front end. And if I go down, you can see this form has first name and email. So coming back here, we'll go to form and under basic, we have date of birth. So let's drag that in and then we'll click save changes. And now if we go to the front end and reload, and now we have that field added there. So that's the second way that you can go out and capture a date of birth. Now coming down to the next one, the WooCommerce checkout. Now worth pointing out is that you have the Funnel Kit Checkout, which we've already looked at, and then we have WooCommerce Checkout. Now the difference between these two options is that this first one here is for when you're using Funnel Kit for your checkout page, which is what we looked at before. And this one here is for when you're not using Funnel Kit for your checkout page. So let me show you how this option works here. So coming back to the front end of our website, if we click on our cart 
and we go back to our checkout page, we know that this checkout page was designed using funnel kit. And so we added the date of birth field using this option up here where we dragged it under the fields tab. So let's go ahead and disable funnel kit so it's not affecting our checkout page here and then it will fall back to our WordPress theme. So here in our dashboard, let's go down to funnel kit and store checkout. And I'm going to put this into draft. And so now if we go back to our checkout page and reload, you can see this is what the default checkout page looks like with WooCommerce. So now if we scroll down a little bit, you'll notice that there's no date of birth field being output on the default WooCommerce form. And so this is what this option enables you to do. So let's go ahead and enable the date of birth field and we can change its label and we can also change its position. So let's keep it after billing details and we'll scroll down and click save. And then coming back here, let's reload. And so here's billing details. So let's scroll down a little bit and you can see date of birth is now there. Now you have some other options for placement here. So if we go after billing details, we could change it to before order notes. So if I click that and we go and save and reload the page, you can see it's up here. And then the last one would be after order notes, which would just add it under here. So as you can see, using this setting here, you have the ability to use funnel kit or not use funnel kit and still harness the power of capturing a date of birth. Now for today's video, I'm going to go ahead and disable that because we will revert back to using the funnel kit design for the checkout page. So I'll save that. And then let's go down and look at this next option, which is the WooCommerce My Account. So on the front end, if we go to the My Account page in WooCommerce and we go to Account Details and go down a little bit, these are the default fields that WooCommerce gives us under Account Details. Now let's come back into the settings and let's enable this. So we're going to enable the date of birth field on the My Account page. And let's go down and click save settings. So now if we come back and reload and go down, you can see that field has been added at the bottom here. And coming down, we can also capture a contact's date of birth on the thank you page. Now this one requires you to add a short code into the design. So let's go ahead and do that. So I've already enabled it. So let's copy the short code and then let's go and add this into our thank you page design. So I'm going to do that for our store checkout. So I'll go to funnel kit and then store checkout. And then we have two steps here. We have our checkout page and then we have our thank you page. So let's click to edit our thank you page and then let's go down and let's edit our template. So here we are. And as you can see, this design is using Gutenberg. So let's just go down and add a new section here at the bottom. So I'm going to click here and let's add a container, so add that in and it will just be one column. And then inside here, let's add a heading or we could say get a discount on your birthday and then in here we could type some text so i just said enter your date of birth below and receive an exclusive discount on your birthday so now we just need to go ahead and add the short code so here i'll just add a short code so we'll just go short code and coming back here let's copy this short code and then let's paste that in there now all that's left to do is save our thank you page so with that done, let's go ahead and do a test transaction and see how that date of birth field is saved to a contact in FunnelKit Automations in the CRM. And then we'll jump back into that automation and I'll show you how to set up the automation to send it to your customer using that new birthday reminder trigger. So we're going to start with a blank slate. So here under FunnelKit Automations and Contacts, there's no contacts currently in there. So let's go ahead and do a test transaction. So back on the front end, let's go ahead and add some products to cart. So I'm going to add an album and let's go ahead and add a beanie and then we'll go check out and with my email filled out, let's go ahead and add a date of birth. So let's just say the 1st of January, 1990, and then I'll enter my shipping details, which I've just gone ahead and done. And let's go ahead and proceed to payment. And then down here, we'll click place order now. We land on the thank you page. And because we entered our date of birth on the checkout form, if we scroll down a little bit, it's got the value that we entered for our date of birth and it's just output it there as well. I just wanted to show you how that would work between the checkout page and the thank you page. You might just want to enable one of them. It's entirely up to you. Now, if we go back to the My Account page and go to Account Details and go down a little bit, you also see that it's got that value there as well. And this also gives them a chance where if they've entered it incorrectly, they could come and update it themselves. Maybe it was supposed to be 1985 and then they just go save changes. And now that's updated. Now, if we go back into our CRM, so under funnel kit automations and contacts, if I reload the page here, you can see I'm in there now. 
And if I click into it and scroll down a little bit, we'll see that the date of birth field has 1st of January, 1985, which is that updated value that we just updated from the My Account page. So this is the value that we can now use to trigger the automation. So that covers all the out of the box ways you can go and capture a date of birth using the Funnel Kit Automations plugin. And that's using the settings under Funnel Kit Automations, Settings and Birthday Reminder. Now, the final way that you could go out and do it is using your favorite forms plugin. So you would just add a date field into your form plugin. And then when somebody completes that form, you just map that date field to this date of birth field in the CRM. Because whatever date is used in here is the one that you can use to trigger the automation using the new birthday reminder trigger. So now that we know all the different ways we can go and get the date of birth field into the CRM, let's now go ahead and recreate that automation to show you how you could go and implement this into your own website. So let's go back to Funnel Kit Automations and then Automations, and we'll go Add New Automation, and we'll start from scratch. And I'll call this Birthday Reminder, and we'll go Create. Now the trigger for this is going to be the Birthday Reminder Trigger, and we'll go Done. So now let's click into this Birthday Reminder Trigger, and I want to enter my contacts in here seven days before their birthday at 8 a.m. in the morning. And let's have our contacts enter here multiple times, but we only want to allow them to be in it at one time. So we're not going to enable this. Now, before we go ahead and set up the emails that we're about to add to this automation, I do want to point out that you're not selecting what field in the CRM is the birthday field or the date of birth field. It already knows it's looking for that one particular field in the CRM. And I wanted to point that out because one of the powerful features of Funnel Kit Automations is that you can come here under Funnel Kit Automations and Contacts, and then you could go to Fields, and you could add a new field called Date of Birth, and its field type could be a date. And if you go ahead and do that, that field will exist under the contact, but this trigger inside your automation won't interact with it. It's looking for that specific field that comes pre-installed with FunnelKit Automations. So I did just want to point that out there in case that causes any issues for people. So now that we've gone ahead and done that, let's go ahead and save. And then let's go ahead and add our first action. So I'm going to click here and I'm going to add an action. And this is going to be to create a coupon code. So I'm going to go down to WooCommerce and we're going to create a coupon code and click done. And for this coupon, I'm gonna say birthday reminder and the discount type will be a percentage discount and we're gonna give 15% off. So coming down to the coupon prefix code, if you've never used this before, the tool tips inside Final Kit Automations are very helpful. So if you just hover on this, it explains how it works and then it gives you an example. So if we write the prefix to be welcome, it will add on the end of that random digits and characters that make it unique to that specific person. So our, our prefix could be something like bday15 in this example, and then each person will get random characters added on the end of that that makes it unique to them. So for the coupon expiry, I'm gonna say that this should expire after a specific number of days, and I might say eight just to be safe because we don't want this to expire seven days and maybe the timing's just a little bit off. Let's give one day leeway here. Because remember our birthday reminder trigger happens seven days before the contact's birthday. So allow free shipping, no. So let's go up and under restrictions. So here under restrictions, I'm just gonna say that they can't redeem this for sale items. Now for restrict to customer's email, I'm going to leave that unchecked and you might like to do that as well because maybe your contact will want to forward your email to a friend or family member as a hint to say, hey, I sort of like this website. Here's a coupon code that I just got sent. Maybe you want to use it on my behalf and buy me something because I really like the products in the store. And then let's go to limits and I'm not going to put a limit on this because again, it expires after eight days and I'm probably just gonna let them use it as many times as they want during that period. So let's go ahead and save that. And then let's go down. So we have seven days before the contact's email, they enter this automation, we create a coupon code, and now let's send them an email with that coupon code inside. So I'm gonna go add action, and it's gonna be to send an email, and we'll go done. And then I've gone ahead and pre-prepared a template here. So I'm just gonna load that template in. I'm gonna to click to templates and it's birthday one. So I'll apply that. 
And it's just one that I did behind the scenes before filming this video today, and it was using the Visual Builder. So I'll show you what that looks like. So we'll launch the Visual Builder. This is the first email that the customer receives seven days before their birthday. It's nearly your birthday. Hi, first name. We heard it's your birthday this week. We've organized something special to celebrate you. Use code this for 15% off. And then this button would take them to the shop page. And then down here, in case you're stuck, I just gave them two different products that are selling well in the store right now. And then down here, I said, get it by your birthday. Just a heads up, our shipping normally takes two to three days for domestic shipping. Order today to make sure you get it by your birthday. I did it quite quickly, but there's just some ideas in case you wanted to use them as a starting point. Now this merge tag here is outputting the coupon code that we just set up in the previous step in this automation. So I'm gonna recreate this for you to show you how you insert that. So I'm gonna get rid of that. And then we'll go up to merge tags and we'll go down to contact and we'll go down a little bit until you see WooCommerce dynamic coupon code. And if we click the settings icon, and then if we click here, we can select that birthday reminder coupon. So I'll click on that and click copy. And then you just paste that into your email template. And I just made it bold in this example. So that's the first email. So let's go ahead and save that and exit out of that. And going up a little bit, I just made the subject line. We weren't going to forget about you just to entice them to open up the email. So that is the first email. So let's go ahead and save and close that. So now that we've got that coupon code created and being sent to our customer seven days before their birthday, let's go ahead and add a delay. And we're gonna delay until a custom filled date. And I'm gonna select the type here to be date of birth. And this uses the day and month. And let's delay this until their birthday at 8 a.m. in the morning in the contact time zone. And it summarizes down here. So this is going to be a delay until the date of birth of the contact at 8 a.m. in their time zone. Let's go ahead and save. And now we're in the territory of being on their birthday. So let's go ahead and send them a birthday to say, it's your birthday. Let's go add action. And we're going to send an email and we'll go done. And then I've pre-designed a template for this video. So let's go templates. And I'm going to insert this birthday too. So I'll go apply. And the subject was happy birthday. And if we go down and launch the visual builder, this is the email that I sent. So happy birthday. We wanted to drop in on this special day and wish you a very happy birthday. PS, your special 15% off birthday coupon expires today. Use code, and this is just the same merge tag that we used from the previous email for 15% off. Claim your discount, that can take them back to the shop. And then I just gave them some ideas or some categories that they might want to enter for to redeem their coupon code. So this is a very important email to let them know on their birthday that we're thinking about them as a brand, but also just to remind them that they have this special coupon code that is going to expire if it's not used in a specific time period. So a little bit of urgency. Let's go ahead and save that and we'll just exit out of that and we'll save and close. And now they're ready to receive your next email from your brand. So that is how you go and set up an automated birthday reminder email. Extremely powerful. It doesn't take any time to do once you've set it up. That is the power of email automation and that's why FunnelKit is so valuable.